movie news on the show. I was reading that after the huge success of Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy, they're now planning to make a movie of Tolkien's book The Hobbit as well. Yes, uh, but this time without Peter Jackson, which to many fans then seems unthinkable, you know, heresy almost. Well, it is. I, I know Jackson wanted to make the film, but he's fallen out with the studio over a pay dispute or some such. But it does raise the question, who's going to step up to the plate and direct The Hobbit now? Well, a few big names have already been approached and asked to shoot some sample scenes, including Australia's very own Nick Giannopoulos. <laughs> Bilbo, you must accompany me to the Lonely Mountain to slay the dragon Smog. Oh, sweet! Can we take the Monaro? Oh, the Vlocky, right? The Vlocky! Remove those fluffy dice from the ring. Oh, but the fully sick, Mike. Come on, Mike. The sweet. Uh, that could work. It could work. It could work. It's all right. Maybe, all right. but uh, not to be outdone. I know Woody Allen's also made an audition reel for consideration. Beware, Bilbo, lest the evil power of the ring destroy you utterly. Jesus, don't scare me like that. I got an ulcer here the size of Yankee Stadium. But Bilbo! No, no, my therapist said death would be very bad for my health. <laughs> Believe me, I wouldn't go with you if you were Scarlett Johansson. Look out! Behind you! Oh my God, is that an orc? Either that or my rabbi spent too long in the solarium. Stop him, Baggins! Stop him! I'm sorry, if you were a little bit younger, I would have slept with you. I like it. I like it. I, I think he's retained the feel of the original. Yeah, but they could do a lot worse than Woody. They could do worse, although, that said, I didn't mind Michael Moore's pitch for the movie either. <laughs> to help the hobbits out, I decided to take them to the headquarters of Halliburton to show them what real evil looked like. This ring is a fictitious ring. It has come from a fictitious land. It is even more fictitious than George Bush's presidency. What has your company done to help out disenfranchised hobbits in the Shire? Shame on you, sir. Shame on you and your company. Would you mind leaving the room? Oh, you're, you're kicking me. Oh, you're, you're kicking me out now. Are you fine? Okay, I'll just go to some factory in Flint, Michigan instead. Then uh, our final problem tonight is my mobile phone. Now, I'm not the most technically savvy bloke in the world, and like a lot of people, I find it hard to set my phone up the way I want it. Now, have you tried calling tech support? Yeah, but you've got no idea what lengths you have to go to these days to get some good old-fashioned face-to-face service. As I found when I called 3 Mobile this week. Yeah, I'm having some trouble with my voicemail. Yeah, but I want someone to show me how to do it. Can you show me how to do it? But where are you? <laughs> we are based here in India, Mumbai. Mumbai. All right, all right then, I'll come to Mumbai. Can you come outside? Because I'm just outside. I'm in Mumbai. You are in Mumbai. Yeah. Where exactly in Mumbai you are? I'm outside your building. I can see the three logo. I hope you'll be able to help me. Yeah, definitely. I will get a technical sort of person to help me out today. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> No, it's great. I mean, the customer service is fantastic. Much better than in Australia. I can see... OK, no, it's all right. It's all right. OK, I'm here now. I can see I can see the three logo. Yeah, you can come OK, in. can I just ask the security guard? Will he let me in? Sure, let me in. Excuse me, I'm just speaking to... From, from this building here. Is it OK for me to come in? He's, he's saying I can't come in. Can you help me with this? Yeah, sure. You can give the phone to him. OK, I'll give the phone to him. Hello? 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 No permission. No permission? Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Ah, oh, I've come all this way. Thanks anyway. Megan, it's great to see you again. I just have ten questions to ask you. First, how are you enjoying Australia, especially seeing as you live here? Second, where for I are Romeo? Third, knock knock who's there? Fourth, hello, hello, hello. What's all this then? Fifth, what's the story, Morning Glory? Sixth, have you ever considered a career as a statue busker? Seventh, do you want to come for a drink after this baby? Eighth, what would you say to kids who want a career as an actuary? Ninth, I don't know if you've ever recorded an album, but if you had, would you be able to just sing it into the camera from beginning to end? And tenth, um, 
Sorry, I, I forgot what, what's your name again? Can you repeat all your 10 questions so I didn't quite catch them? Yeah, okay, first, I know you're Australian. <laughs> How are you enjoying Australia? Second, you're going to break their way. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? You guys were talking about movies earlier and the whole Peter Jackson Hobbit thing. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, I'm pretty much the only person I know who hates Lord of the Rings. Okay. Hates it. It was crap. Although I must say, I did enjoy the porn version. <laughs> Lord of the G strings, the female ship of the oh, strings. Not only Ray, probably one of the sharpest porn puns of all time. Well worth a watch. The fellowship, female ship, it's seamless, female isn't it? <laughs> you you quite like your porn, don't you, Chazzy? I love the porn. You Chris. love your porn. Because no, no one ever believes me. <laughs> No one believes me when I say this, but no. I don't get into porn at all. I, Why not? Really? <laughs> I don't get into I honestly don't get into porn. I just find, find the scenarios very unrealistic. Unrealistic? <laughs> Wash your mouth out, Taylor. Porno films hold up a mirror to our society as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Ritty realism, Chris. Yes. Very Ken Loach porn. In, in fact, <laughs> just to prove how realistic porno movies are, I decided to put several, don't look like that, several classic <laughs> porn cliches to the test. Let's see how women in the real world actually respond when a handsome stranger knocks on their door. Hey, baby, do you have something that needs fixing? No, no, everything's working quite well at the moment. Sure. Thank you very much. I can check the plumbing. Plumbing's fine? Let me just grab my tool. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Come to pay a house call, baby. Okay. Yeah. You don't want any action? <sighs> Look at this! Look at this! Want some pizza, baby? What's that? Making a delivery. Supreme size love for you, baby. I don't want anything to that. Ah, sounds like you'd like a doggy star. <laughs> no, I'll be right. Thank you. Maybe try the neighbors. These jeans, these jeans are tight, baby. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Ow! Bye-bye. <laughs> what kind of horny housewife for you? Here to clean the pool. Do you want your pool clean? Know what I mean? Playing hard to get? I like it. What is this all about? It's about you and me and sweet love. Hang on. You didn't tell me the husband was home. Threesome, baby. Nice shorts. Oh, these shorts, they're so tight. These shorts are so tight. You got a pool for me to clean? I only have a pond, it'd be too small for you. I can skim your pond, baby. <laughs> so 